I'm a hoarder. So willing to let go of things is the crux of the problem. Stop, 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 stop. But I need you to work with us here. I remember thinking, I won't be here for more than five years. Well, my life didn't quite go to plan. Over the next three decades, he's filled every room with clutter. The bedroom, the lounge, the conservatory, and the kitchen. May I point out one feature that you probably think is disgusting? That uh, handprint up there, it's my daughter's right hand. One day I just returned from fishing and she got stuck in and uh, got her hands dirty and then decided to make a handprint up on the wall with the fish blood. It sort of reminds me of a happy time. Arthur split from his wife when his daughter was just two and a half. He's lived on his own for more than 20 years. Friends and family aren't all that keen on visiting me. I've been a bit disappointed. It was my 70th birthday not long ago, and I was hoping that some of them might arrive. I mean, I live alone. My daughter's grown up and unmarried. Over the years, Arthur's hoard grew. But when his father passed away, things spiralled out of control. I have been reported, as it were, to the local authority some years ago. But I haven't heard from them for a while, so I'm hoping I have persuaded them that there's no actual danger. But for Arthur's neighbours, the hoard is an eyesore. Arthur has got a little bit of a reputation around the street. I think it's just a general thing that people aren't happy, so a, a lot of people do judge and they do say that it does need clearing out. Local girl Helen has known Arthur all her life. Oh, hello. Hello, Arthur. <laughs> How are you, my darling? Oh, I'm not too bad. All right. I thought yeah, we'd yeah. pop round for a cup of tea and catch well, up. come in. Thank you. I know you've not seen the place for a few years, so be careful. That's okay. all I'm saying. But okay. But th there's nothing to worry about. It's simply a bit of stuff on the floor. Do come through. Helen used to play with Arthur's daughter when they were children. This is right. most concerning but hasn't been inside the flat for over 15 years. How can you get to your toilet? Why is there a wet newspaper on the floor? Don't like this? Nope. Nope, not standing in there. I would very much value your opinion. This is some rhubarb that I grew in the garden and cooked this morning to make rhubarb jam. So I wondered whether Maybe on a piece I'm not, of... I'm not going to eat it out there, You don't have though. to eat it. I'm going to eat it anyway, because I think it's absolutely yummy. Mm. Well, I imagine it tastes nice, Arthur, but it needs... And, um, well... Mm. Arthur has been collecting things all his life. I don't understand why you got all the paper on the floor. No, no, it's Arthur. a good point, that. Yeah. That's... La laziness, I think, probably is the most explanation. I was a collector as a child. I find things contain memories. I just find I'm a collector, instinctively. There's the nowhere to sit. There is one chair. This is a fine rocking chair. And all I have to do is take the stuff off it and sit down. When I look around at my den and hoard, it does represent me in so many ways. You know, I can pick up an essay that I wrote at school and read it again and reflect. You know, it's all my history. I don't want my history being sort of dumped at the local dump. And it has been suggested that I have a mental illness, this hoarding. I mean, that's rubbish. But if you think of the number of people who hoard in their garages, in their attics, in their kitchen drawers, they're hoarding, all of them. So oh, how yeah. do you even get oh, yes. into your bed? It's quite simple. When I want to go to bed, I just take what's on the bed off the bed and make a little space so that I can put up my sleeping bag and crawl in it and have a sleep. Are you quite happy sleeping like that? Yeah, it's lovely, cosy, a bit like a dormouse, really. But if Arthur wants to avoid further run-ins with the neighbours, he's got some thinking to do. It is horrendous compared to what it used to be, and I think it really is time that you made a change. Hoarders prize their belongings, even when they have no obvious cash value. 
Any attempt to throw things away can cause anxiety and upset. And today, Arthur is going to have his patience well and truly tested. He's getting a visit from extreme cleaners Kaz and T. Oh, hello! <laughs> <laughs> You're the um, cleaners. Yeah. Coming out of the rain, for goodness sake. Well, I'm sorry, it's a bit of a mess, but you know, I expect you're used to that. OK. This is the main living room. Right, OK. But as you can see, living in it isn't that easy. You've got a daughter. You don't see her at all. Hardly ever. I always encourage her to come and stay, but for some reason she doesn't. What do you think the reason is? It could be the mess, I suppose. Right. Let us help you out. The kitchen. Now, this is a challenge. You might want to take a deep breath. OK. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. So, okay. um... Like Arthur? Yes. <laughs> I've got a few concerns. I bet you have, yes. <laughs> so, what are they? Well, I'm looking everywhere and the whole flat is full of newspaper or clothes. Oh, yes, there's a lot of newspapers, yes, yes. But you're a smoker. How yeah. have you not caught the place the light? I'm sorry to be oh, honest. Yeah, yeah, good point. Well, I, you... I'm a very careful smoker. <laughs> I've been smoking for years. Yeah. With all seriousness, Arthur, you're living in a death trap. But this isn't the only cause for concern. Are you prepared to see the bathroom? Yes, I'm ready to this see the bathroom. This is a chamber of horrors, this is it? I'm ready. Okay. It's fine. Now then, you see that string? Yeah. You've got to, first of all, hold the light bulb, which is on the ceiling, and then pull the string. There we go, we got oh, light. Jesus. Oh, my God. If I let go of the light bulb, the light will go off. Arthur, yes. you can't switch your light on like that. I, 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 I did sound chastised. Did you not hear the spark when you touched the light bulb? Spark and paper. Spark I know what you're saying. and paper. Ex ex yes, exactly. I can't believe that. <laughs> I can't believe it. I thought it might go a bit overpowering. Oh, Sit down Arthur, for a moment. no. Have a cup of tea. No. Hi, um. No, no, no. It's clear something needs to be done urgently. But can a lifelong hoarder change his ways and let Kaz and T get on with what needs to be done? So the question is, Arthur... Yes, Mum? What are you willing to let go of? Ah, to make good question. Space? Well, the point is, I'm a hoarder. So willing to let go of things is the crux of the problem. You're all right for the newspapers to go, aren't you? That's a leading question. Because I'm going to pick them up regardless. It's I quite... just want to know how you're feeling about that. Well, I can tell you how I'm feeling about that, you see. Nervous. Right, OK. If he thinks that, you know, this is OK and acceptable, it's not. That's his life. He could die, fall asleep and drop a cigarette, knock something over. That's it. His flat's gone up. <laughs> He's quite a charming guy. He's a very charming guy. We can have a laugh and that joke and that thing, but to, to be honest, he's not even bloody funny. I, I don't intend to make any sacrifices, but I, I, I do agree that we're going to have to sort things into what stays and what goes. You know, my prayers are being answered at long last. Kaz and T are hard at work on Arthur's hoard. It's in two minutes, and this is going to be clear. I wonder what they're up to. But Arthur wants to inspect every sheet of paper before it's thrown away. Oi, oi, oi. It doesn't go on to inspection. You can see that's just newspaper. Oh, uh, it's newspaper, right? But right. What newspaper. Is it? These are not items you're going to sit down and no, no, read. No. At a casual glance, you're right. Just... Look I mean, at that. You see how that's I embedded can't quite in the floor? All right. Now, look. OK, that's what's going in the bin. Could I just explain my position on this? I you mean, can A. Explain, but I'm going to get it off. The well, I'd rather you just listen for a moment. It won't take long. You, you know about <laughs> archaeological digging. Yes. And that's done very carefully with a paintbrush and a right. trowel. Right. Now, imagine yourself doing that here. That's because what we, that's what we're doing. 
paintbrush and trowel, That's not a Ballygrade right. shovel. That is what we are doing, Arthur. I respect that I'm these agreeing. are your things, but well, right now, it's an old this newspaper. is not any use to you. At this range, I quite agree. I think you can chuck that. Thank you. Can, right. we, can we, can we... But the next handful, I need to have a look at. It's true, that one has been lost forever. Arthur, listen to me. Yes. Even if it was the paper you wanted to keep, yes. it can't be that important because oh, no. I've just dug it up from behind the door. That's where the important ones are. You'd be surprised. All right, I'm going Let to strangle him. Did you do that? Bloody hell, Jerry Halliwell, it's raining men. I need Arthur, that. That's Arthur, a television stop, 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 stop. But I need you to work with us here. Okay. Because fun and joke aside, this is going to take weeks Arthur. and weeks. Ah! Arthur. That nearly went to the garage. I find with hoardism, people cocoon themselves with, with, with their hoard, and it's a comfort. And we're ripping that comfort away from that person. Really and truly, it's something we would throw away, but we can't do that to him because he's not ready. He's not ready. I had a little rummage, you know me. And I, I found this. This is audio tape. Which is no use to anyone. It is to me, you see. For Arthur, his hoard represents precious memories that he doesn't want to lose. But I need that sort of thing kept. OK, so you're going to keep it and do Anything what that looks it? like an audio tape. What are you right, going to okay. do? Even a pulled and tatty audio tape. You want it right. kept. It's supposed it. to be kept. I appreciate it must seem difficult to them. Uh, they, they have been, some of them, partly damaged. And any further shoveling with a shovel will completely wreck them. And these tapes, you know, irreplaceable voice letters, my parents' voices. You rip through the papers and you tear up the past. It's a tape. It a is. broken tape. It may be broke, it's... but it's still got the messages. No, hold on. Losing my mother at the time I did, I was about 25, I think. We had a phone call from Dad. Come home, Mum's not well. And she wasn't and was dead within about a fortnight. It had cancer. Living in an unhygienic mess is not my style. But the passing of my parents were probably stages on the way, if you see, to the present condition. I know you want to get the job done, and he's, he's like, oh, I'm going to kind of slow things down. But having said that, he's quite amicable to a certain extent. So I'm going to work with that, if that makes sense. You know, it's a, a good cop, bad cop situation. I know, I know. Yeah? And I'm always the bad cop. I know, I know. As we're here now... Oh, well, I guess. Kaz decides right. to take right. a different right. approach and work with right. Arthur on the kitchen. It's a bloody good I'll tell you what, can I start with this? Yes. Yeah? Now, see, there are far too many plastic bags down there. Oh, my gloves have been looking at those. Oh, Shakespeare, I wonder where he was. Oh, look at that. I found my house keys at last. <laughs> Having finally gained Arthur's trust, they begin to make progress. A bit of carpet down there, I say. I haven't seen that in the carpet for, for ages. I'm doing a grand job here. Yeah. I could almost burst into song. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Letting anybody into your hoard is a risky business. And there were a few matters I had to discuss. And I, I think they paid attention and consequently, all sorts of things I might have lost have fortunately been saved. And other things that I should have lost a long time ago have, in fact, now been consigned to the tip, as it were. It's clear this is too big a job for one day. Hopefully, Arthur can hang on to his newfound enthusiasm overnight. We'll be back tomorrow. Right, Mum. And we've left you a little bit of washing up today. Thanks. You're more than welcome. Bye, Arthur. Hold on. The handprint on the wall. Yeah. There's a heart around it. I now. know. That wasn't no. there yesterday. No. Because he wants it protected. What's that about? That's that's his daughter's handprint. We'll wash around that. Society seems to think that I have a problem and that they want to change me. Anyone got a right? I don't want to be changed. Helped, possibly. 
but not changed. Arthur! Neighbour Helen offers to help. <laughs> I can see your floor. Oh, man. Arthur, you hear me? Ah, yes, I can hear you now. <laughs> right, the clothes that have come out of the bathroom, I'm going to put straight in a bin bag. Okay? This is a bin bag for the tip. Yes. yes. Together, they're going to tackle the bedroom. And Helen is taking no prisoners. Here we go, in the bin. Thank you. Oh, this is getting the fleas out of my dog. Bin. Been in. Oh, in the bin. Come on. Thank you. Helen needs to join the extreme team. We'd welcome Helen. She's ruthless. She's, She's on ruthless. point. Like the colour. Nice colour, yes. After two days of sorting, bagging and storing, Arthur's flat is finally ready for its deep clean. I just my spiders to live. Oh. You're not complaining about us getting rid of the no. cobwebs? No, he is not, are you, Arthur? Of course not. Never cobweb, are you? Full of grease like this. Don't wet it. Does it just make it worse? Just take off the grease. For almost 20 years, Arthur's home has been buried in newspaper and jumble. I couldn't walk into his front room. I hope we've done enough to show him that people don't live like how we found this place. I used to feel embarrassed, I suppose, but then I got over that. Now I almost feel proud. Where once the oven was caked in grime, now there's almost shine. The bed that was buried alive is somewhere for Arthur to sleep again. And the lounge that was a fire hazard is safe to live in once more. And a newly decluttered Arthur has planned a surprise. I know you keep asking me how I feel. I'm not very good at something. So I thought I'd show you how I feel. Thank you for all your work. Let's have a look. Have a slice if you want. Thank you for it should be all right. your hard work. I didn't make it, you see. I don't oh, have to tell you. Oh, Arthur. <laughs> oh. That was totally unexpected, his reaction, because you can see that he's a joker. So for him to become emotional, that's really touched me. Like you're crying. I know. Oh. I'm a sentimental old fool. Oh. <laughs> there we go. We're definitely going to come back in six months' time see how he's getting on. I have a feeling in my water that the future's looking bright. <laughs> <laughs>